what happens if an artist wants to change a tiny piece of my song and then he wants writing credit? Like, how do how do you handle <clears> that? <throat> well, you know what? Uh, when I got started in the '80s, that was really a common practice. You'd be working. You're an artist. You'd be working with a producer, and the producer would always come up with, "I want to change that and to a bud, or the yeah. bud to an and." <clears throat> and you know, that's got to be worth at least twenty five percent of the song. So you know, that's a joke, but it, it did happen a lot. Mm -hmm. And if the bigger you were as a producer, and you knew the artist really kind of needed you, you know, you didn't want to just say, "Well, I I want this for helping you out." Yeah. You you'd contribute minimally, and. Uh, want the maximal compensation mm -hmm. so uh, you know it's it it's not an abnormal thing um but I, I mean you know as as a producer or anybody else in the session if they're changing something that isn't really substantial mm -hmm. i mean i think that just comes in making the product the project the artist the song the production better and we don't consider we change stuff on songs all the time and don't ever ask for writing credit on it. That doesn't mean we're good guys. It just means that that's our practice. You know, it, if a guy changes a line or two, is he really entitled to something? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I mean, if he does, I mean, I don't think he's out of line. But I think if you change a line or two of a song and it's not the line or two in the song, mm -hmm. it's just a line or two in the song. You know, that you want some small compensation. I don't think that that's unethical or immoral or anything else. And and as an artist, I think you have to, people contribute to your work. They want to be compensated. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's an abnormal thing. What happens if you're an artist and you are in the booth or whatever you're doing and you decide you want to make a quick change because this is how you feel as an artist is what you want it to sound like? What? How do you handle that then? If, and it's not your song? Right. Like it's if I'm an, an artist song? and I'm doing your song, and I'm like, uh, you know what? I sang this different, and I changed two words in it. I want writing credit. How do you handle that? Well, I think the I think my answer would be exactly what my answer was before with the producer. If you're an artist and you are a big artist, and you have leverage, and you legitimately want to change something so it fits you better, whether it's your mm -hmm. style or just makes it you more comfortable for you to sing, you know, as long as the folks on the other end are cool with it. I, I think it's it's absolutely positively fine. Are you entitled to a, a writer's compensation or ownership because you did that? Um, when the song's already written and they're happy with it and they pitched it to you, mm -hmm. again, I think that's all going to just, I think that's all going to uh, amount to um, how big you are as an artist. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think if you're super, super big, you probably won't even care. It's probably more the mid-level to getting close yeah. to being big right. that are like, well, I'm helping this out, so I'm helping the writer out, so they should, they should totally. compensate me.